Well, I think for, for a lot of vice chancellors in the UK, it's still quite a new part of their job. It's, it's not something that they've necessarily had a lot of experience in. I was very lucky because I worked with somebody who had had a lot of US experience and really drove fundraising and I learned a huge amount. And I think where I am now, um, it's kind of moved the other way in that there's a, a provost who's absolutely outstanding in terms of what he's achieved at the institution. He's outstanding communicator. He's personable. He enjoys meeting people. People love his company. They love hearing about what UCL has achieved. Um, but I'm finding myself in the position of having to, to really push and drive fundraising within the institution. And vice chancellors and provosts have a huge amount of competing priorities, and there are only so many hours in the day. So trying to make sure that you respect that and also that you find a way of, of using their time in the most effective way is absolutely critical. But it is a very close personal relationship. You travel a lot together, you're meeting a lot of people. Um, so you have to, again, get to understand them very well and know what they like and don't like and, and, and build a relationship um, that is very constructive. But it is a, a close relationship and that's something that um, you know, you have to respect and, uh, and um, at times, you know, you, you find yourself in situations that you maybe um, know things that um, the rest of the institution maybe doesn't know and you have to respect that.